is going on people welcome back some lonely mining over here in the ice seems to be about bedtime so for meals well this is the rim world 1.3 triple cold snap challenge two meals left <coughs> one meal left he has one in his pocket neither of them do so we're boned because we had that zut last time had to shut down the power there's meat up here we simply can't retrieve it and it's it's like so close oh, but maybe we send Carney up although I think everybody's getting along now no they're no longer look at her last name <laughs> Boa Commendo he doesn't like Carney either I don't think we stand much chance because we're going to be slowed and these mechs are, there's, we could send everybody else up as support, kind of shoot them to bits, but we also don't have great accuracy. Is everybody else an Azure issue? We don't have great accuracy because we get cold right away, so it feels like a bit of a gamble. So we could make some kind of trap situation somewhere. We can spend a lot of time outside right now. Nicole, you could also haul those in. Dale's coming. Carney, I didn't know you were outside, friend. <laughs> Dale is... Anyways, so there's no good way. I think we just have to say the beef is out of our reach. We have smithing, machining. Uh, we can get ourselves a machining table built, probably. Dale doesn't like to get warm before he goes out, that's for sure. And he's not the best miner. You can tell that straight away. He's a three... So, I guess we're going to work through this mining and just try not to starve to death. That's pretty much what it's going to come down to here. We're going to get both of these little sections mined out. Really, I was just doing this because there's components there, but that's super unnecessary at the moment. I just need to know where I need to build my wall. And negative 135 for temps. Dale is good to go again. Nicole has been out here for a while with no hypothermia. Negative 124. Mega sloth wool. Mega sloth wool. And that's almost the pinnacle, I think. Well, I don't know that guinea pigs are even... Guinea pig is even in this game. That might be restricted to... Mm, ideology. I can't, I can't say, but look at this. She can just do everything, and that's that. Are you hauling? Yes. So, yeah, this is going to be boring for a while. So. Well, malnutrition is starting to set in, and it got cold because it's nighttime. So, could reclaim some steel if I built this out of stone now. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Doesn't help the food problem. Any is this harvestable? No, but it will be shortly. So, we're going to have to play that game where I harvest early. This room. Oh, it's dirt. I thought the snow was melting off, but that's definitely not the case. I mean, how nice would it be to be able to move into this little space over here and start proper growing? It would be really awesome. Do we have the materials to do that? Because, right, what was that? That was the light coming on. <laughs> so we need a couple more bays, but we already have the light. We need a couple more heaters. Probably have to double wall this or find a way to get this space relatively warm. So... That's the main issue. Mining level four for this fella. Malnutrition trivial. So these are harvestable. I'm gonna push this as far as I can. He's trivial. He's trivial. She's minorly hypothermic. She should actually, when she starts starving, eat this rice. Dale. But at some point I just have to make the call and do the job because we're going to lose the mental state here. All right, he's done. She's minor at 30%. She should come in. I'm going to make her eat that. Uh, let's not. Let's. I'm so torn. <laughs> I'm going to let the rice grow for the rest of the day. And if I have to babysit them to keep them away from <laughs> what food we do have, it is what it is. She's at 33% now, but she's not getting cold being outside. Dale is just going to go back in. I think I'm going to use... Yeah, he's at minor hypothermia and trivial. Uh, it's really falling apart on me here. 
Nicole, one more chunk. And malnutrition minor. I'm used to seeing hypothermia minor. That's why I'm not looking at that, right? All right, you just haul that back in. Dale, you should be restricted to inside. So it's only 3 p.m. We're going to do a harvest at end of day on this, no matter what the situation is. And that's going to be that. It might, it might actually get there. I want Dale to be nice and warm when it does. Health, moderate malnutrition at 42%. She might go down at some point from this. I'm going to restrict her to inside in case that happens. Ready to harvest. Dale, get this turned on ASAP. Carney, we could start making meals for Nicole here. There we go. Nicole, there's food. Well, Carney ate it. All right, everybody's getting meals. Why aren't we cooking multiple meals at once? Now we are. Good. Dale's planting. Everybody has eaten that was hungry. Are you? You must have eaten, right? Yeah. They would not not eat if there was food available. Damn it. We're just three short of a whole extra meal again. Cooking level nine. All right, we can still cook three meals. I'm going to force this dude to stay up late and cook. So we have enough for a couple days, I think. <laughs> I have ten. So if it takes six meals per day, we actually don't have enough for a couple days. Ouch. And Dale, uh, I'm not going to interrupt the happy time, but... I am going to interrupt them and make them sew this. All right, so that looks like a massive undertaking. <laughs> I don't know if that's sensible or what, but we need room to build a ship. We would love to have two of these. We need room to expand our base a bit. So seems about what we need. Well, everybody's still malnourished. I mean, they're eating now, so it should be going down. Just doesn't go down very fast. Hopefully, that, oh, that mucks with their stats in other ways. But we need Mega Sloth Wool. I think that's apparent. <laughs> Dale, you want to grab that? Where are you headed now? There's more mining jobs over there. I don't even think she's getting cold out here anymore. She's not. That's phenomenal. Okay. That could be the end of us right there. All right. Uh, cut plants. Dale. It's work to do, friend. Why don't we start over here, too, so it doesn't spread, hopefully. Over to our good plants. If he stops doing this... No, you... Oh, my God, I saw that guy running. They look exactly the same because of their outfits. Okay, try again. There you go. Blight, son of a bitch. Maybe a trader will come along. Okay, so all that meat's gone. We cannot butcher human legs. So there's been a lot of talk about burning human legs in the comments, and I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Honestly, I think I can wall off a section, dump them in there, and burn them for heat. That's definitely not a violation of the rules as they're written. <laughs> uh, you are getting hypothermic now. No, it's actually going down. Cray. Uh, it's fucked. Oh, this is Carney. Never mind. Jeez Louise. Oh, she's no longer hungry, but she's going to be hungry soon because we got blight and to replant everything. So, All right. Well, we're mining out some wealth. A chess table, I think, might provide some decent distraction here. Um, if we can make a jade chess table at this point, that'd be fantastic. Right there. Fine. How much jade did we end up with? 217. So plants, the ones that didn't get interrupted are at 50%. The ones that did are at 12. We have, we have one meal. No meal in your pocket. Yes meal in your pocket. All right. So I should have Nicole pick that up. So they all have a meal. Oh, what the fuck? You're going to go just eat it right away, huh? Okay, hope you are hungry. So much for that. Now we pray. Randy gives us something. We could call somebody in. Are you a really good constructor? Yeah, 15 with a raging passion. That's nice, friend. I am at a loss now. 
We've come this far just to get defeated by a fucking blight. <laughs> I think if that tells us anything, it's that we should really get going on this and see what we can do. So if we could build this and then focus on some level of just blocking this section off sooner rather than later, any jerk that shows up is going to smash it. It takes 340 steel, which we barely have. So if we build that, then we can't get going on more food. And if we had been growing more food all along, we wouldn't be worried about dying right now. I'm going to take a shot, seeing what it's going to take to get this stood up. I might have to double wall all this shit around it. So if I were to try this, does it get power? It does. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I don't really have any room to build any more bays over here, but we can build heaters in here. Probably have to... Well, the bays are going to need electricity, too, so we'll just have to kind of group everything around this side for the time being. And there, I'm sure there's a map somewhere on what the smartest way to put this shit in here is. <laughs> so the light needs to go in the middle. Just so I know where that's going to be. Alright, I'm going to try and lay this out and see if we can get it warm. I mean, it's the warmest part of the year, too. So even if we can now, it doesn't mean we can keep it warm all year long. But we do have other heaters we can place in here. So, so let's see what this accomplishes and how it impacts our grid. Which isn't doing great right now <laughs> due to the fickleness of the wind and the storyteller. Where did we end up? These are 100% grown, but not harvestable. That's another thing that really irks you in this type of scenario when you're really like on the edge of death. Okay, that's probably the last of my steel. There's, there's stony soil in here where we can grow potatoes, so we're not gonna be totally boned. We just need to get this room warm enough <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been doing mining over here it would have stayed double walled yeah we'll see I I think we're gonna harvest this and just have everybody eat raw food of the same amount to try and sustain everybody until the rest of the food comes in till we get some kind of windfall in food or we get more planter beds done we're not we're not getting anything positive happening here, I can tell you that. This has proved to be unsustainable. And if if the story is 1.5 bays per colonist, well, it's stupid to, to say that it's 1.5 when it isn't because they don't actually sustain you. They... RimWorld's a game of a whole bunch of not... Uh, let's not cook. No, don't do it. Uh, because we're going to get one meal and they can't share that. So we have 17. So if I say... 17 divided by 3. <laughs> How hungry are we? Can we harvest these by end of day? We can. Okay. I'm going to wait until end of day and do a big harvest. They're just going to have to be hungry all day. Alright, so these are getting relatively warm now. Fugitive layer, yeah, because we can go do shit like that right now. Schedule unrestrict. There's just nothing else to do right now. Okay, orders, uh, structure, granite wall. These will may have to be double walled before the end, but I'm actually half tempted to bring it back this way. Do we need this? Because we're gonna we do need room for additional bedrooms and growth, and I was hoping to do it around here. So just insul insulate. I don't know. Stick this mountain right in the middle of our base. I do have to watch those dummies so they don't freeze. Everybody's stalling. Dale, I like that you did that and just left all the blocks sitting there, and I didn't put cleaning dirt. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> This dude's malnourished on minor and shivering. So even when we do get meals, we don't like, we don't even recover from the last round of freezing. You have to go inside, friend. I'm tempted just to do it. It's going to set me back more, but we do have 17 chilling. I don't know what to do. 
All right, they are ready to harvest. We're gonna make sure he's not at a hypothermia level that's gonna affect this. And done. So that's as good as it gets. Come on, reconnect, there we go. And this is allow. All right, another round of meals for whatever it's worth. Nicole is gonna do the cooking this time around. Remember that? Oh, let's see how that's gonna go. Everybody wants to eat a meal, which is totally understandable after days of starving on the ice. So look at this bad boy. Look how this ended up. This is, okay, this is stone. Let's do some smoothing over here so I can run power through that wall. And then this might be all right. It might, because we can grow anything in this area. And that's ice. So that's going to change how I lay these bays in here. We certainly can't afford to power a second one of these. Not right now. I don't think we need to. All right. Ugh, I fucking didn't even plant everything. Dale. All right. I don't know if I move these bays if the things I plant will be killed anyway. <laughs> I would like to move this at night, though. <sighs> All right. We need power through the wall. I want to get potatoes going as soon as I can here. I guess we can just do that any time. It's gonna be an. It's, they're not gonna grow as fast, but when we do get harvest, it's it's gonna be other food that should have higher yield. I think potatoes is actually the default, and I actually don't think you can even grow them, or you can't grow anything else on the ice or this stone. So, okay. Not building another one of those lights. Uh, schedule unrestrict everybody. So we have six meals left. All right, we have the power made. Try and stuff the bays over here. Where are you going, Kearney? You're a construction man. Okay, let's keep an eye. Nicole, you too, huh? Okay, it must have gotten cold out again. Oh no, I have Kearney selected. Oh man, I love that he ate a meal out there. <laughs> so, so Rimworld. It's just a. All right, now we need to get some light on these. I'm hoping I can wait until after hours today. Everybody was able to be outside all day. It might be time to try and deal with this. We could get another good pawn out here. At the very least, there's a lot of material there we can deconstruct. Nicole, yeah, you're not even feeling the cold. Carney, you're feeling the cold, friend. You're at minor. 24. Uh, you know what that means. You gotta go inside, little buddy. What are you trying to do? Alright, so Dale, what's your beef here? You're gonna go clean dirt everywhere. I like the cleaning's happening, so I'm not trying to push it. But <laughs> Architect, expand inside. This is no longer inside. That could, that could get somebody killed right there. Alright, there you go. Nicole can literally build all day long until these dicks decide to come down and attack her. Power is not doing great. We don't have the steel to build this. Why don't we do a deconstruct on this? And why don't we... I, this guy can probably go outside now. And we could start mining over here. Still, we never found a good path through this little hill, but there it is. Haven't had a trader in a good long while. I'd like to point that out. These will be grown today, so we'll have a f another meal. Carney is bringing blocks. Okay, yeah, so they're always going to build before they deconstruct. There she goes. Nice work, Nicole. And we need to watch. Anybody up here is at risk. A mechanoid assault. Is there by Dale? Well, Carney, you're right there. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> so we can't build that. What's the next plan? We do have tons of stone block, which is awesome. I'm just not used to that in this game. And the light has gone off, so cancel. Let's get all this shit moved. Reinstall. I'm going to lay these bad boys out. Like, there's some really obvious places, like there. And then we can actually stick heaters in those extra spots. Because we might not have been able to plant under these locations. And then reinstall we need to be close to the power for now so that's the goal well there's no pretty way to do it 
It's too awkward of a space, but we could still squeeze a couple more bays in. These I might just turn sideways because it doesn't seem to make, even if I give up a few ticks of this, it means I can get two more bays in. And then we just have to struggle with the power. Speaking of which, it would help if I would turn this shit off once in a while, wouldn't it? <laughs> also, we, we've run in four extra heaters now, so... Well, we have a shit ton of extra power, but they are working pretty hard right now. These dudes are banging. Carney, I need help before the sun comes up. Please. Uh, is he actually... Oh, it's negative 100 degrees out there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> You're going to just make that one, aren't you? You stupid shit. There we go. Uh, some of these don't have heat for some, or power for some reason. That's going to kill off my potatoes right away. What about this one? Uh, reconnect. Architect power. There's a big gap. Nicole, get up. Mm, hopefully that just sustains it for a little bit. Fucking social fight in a doorway. Oh my god, am I so mad. <laughs> right, meanwhile, the plants we really need to be harvesting... Dying. All right, we got the power on. We need to get the bays moved. Carney just got his ass kicked. Didn't go bother getting tended. But you know what? Okay, so when you move them, the fucking plants die. That sucks. That really sucks. I just boned myself. I didn't know they would die. So we lost half a day's growing when we're starving. <laughs> we have no meals, nothing growing. Um, I guess, I guess we put this back in here right now. Orders, cancel that harvest. We're not gonna get a harvest today. So it doesn't much matter. Ah, oh, that really sucks ass. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I'm going to forbid this, this, these are, this one can forbid until we get some small, tiny harvest. Quest failed. Ah, oh, darn. Dale missed a bunch of bruises and cracks. They really beat the shit out of each other. Well, please leave a like if you're enjoying. That was a super mistake. I was unaware that would happen. I'm crestfallen. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.